Hi everyone, welcome back to Clutch Situation. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Oto Horizon Mechanical Pencil, which has a very unique design and comes in a wide variety of colors. And so let's dive right in. The Oto Horizon Mechanical Pencil comes in a variety of primary colors. Uh, I got mine in a nice uh, Halloween orange. It comes in many of the classic uh, solid uh, primary colors. I can't name them for you right now. I'll have to look it up and put it in the note in the video. Um, but it's really attractive to look at. It's an all stainless steel body. Um, and it's a both a double knock and a auto advance lead mechanism. Let's start by talking about double knock. Okay, so double knock means that, first of all, you press the plunger here to extend the lead sleeve and the lead sleeve the bottom of the lead sleeve is plastic actually and the rest of it is in stainless steel the double knock comes in in that there's a little button on the side here and that button you can press it to retract the whole mechanism okay so double knock pencil the auto lead feed mechanism refers to what you do in order to continue writing with the pencil you know, on the channel I've talked extensively about different varieties that lead sleeves work on mechanical pencils, different ways in which they work, I should say. And so we have retractable sleeves, we have sliding sleeves, we have auto lead advanced mechanisms. What's the difference between all of them? Because you can comb combine some of those features or have them all on their own. So this pencil has a retractable sleeve. A retractable sleeve means that you can retract the sleeve back up into the body of the pencil so that it will remain pocket safe and you can carry it around in your pocket. A sliding sleeve, for example, the Pentel Sharp PS315, will the sleeve will gradually retract. Okay, so you can see that if I press here, the sleeve will retract back down. As you're writing with a sliding sleeve pencil, this lead sleeve will ra gradually retract back up into the body so that you can continue to write as you go along. A auto feed mechanism, which the Oto Horizon has, basically will continually spit out very minute amount of lead out of the lead sleeve of the pencil as you write when you apply pressure to it so that you can continue to write as you go along. And so this is a retractable and auto-feed mechanism. It is not a sliding sleeve because the sleeve doesn't go anywhere as you're continuing to write with it. And so now that we got the terminology out of the way, let's go ahead and do a click test and do a writing test with the uh, Oto Horizon. Okay, so let's do 10 clicks for the, for the test. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wow, that is a lot of lead. You know, I found in my limited amount of time working with Odo pencils, I like their styling a lot, I like their features a lot, but the mechanisms have a lot to be desired. It, it's pretty clear to me that the mechanisms of Oto pencils are, are pretty cheap, and, and maybe I shouldn't be painting with a broad brush, but I've yet to lay my hands or, or see a review for an Oto pencil that doesn't have this huge lead extension with the mechanism. Okay, we're looking at over a centimeter on 10 clicks, which, you know, most people who like mechanical pencils, they like to have a little bit more fine control because you're trying to avoid lead breakage. Um, now, granted, this is an auto-feed mechanism, and so perhaps the argument is, is that once you get a little bit of lead out on this pencil, you should just be able to go. And so, of course, I want to be fair to it, um, and maybe we just need to think differently about the Oto Horizon as I'm reviewing it here so, so that uh, we can be in a frame of mind that does not, it is not biased against the pencil simply because that isn't how other mechanical pencils work. So let's go ahead and do a writing test. Oto Horizon. Mechanical pencil, 0 0.5 millimeters. Okay, double knock, auto lead feed mechanism. It has a pretty sturdy pocket clip, nice metal pocket clip. You see when I when I uh, moved it right there, I hit the uh, the double knock button and retracted the lead sleeve. Okay, it's super rattly. Okay, like in, as you're moving this pencil around in your hand, it just when you're writing with it, it just rattles. Okay, so that's a big con of this pencil. Pencil. I'm not really sure why it's so loud and rattly. It bothers me. It, it 
may not bother you. The pocket clip is really grippy. Like, not just a little bit grippy, but really grippy. And so it's going to stay attached to anything thin that you attach it to. And so maybe that's a, that's a pro for you, not a con. Um, the eraser really has a problem on the Oto Horizon. In fact, it's kind of hard for me to get the cap off, even, you know, with the lead sleeve extended. So I'm going to retract it back. We take the, the, the lead sleeve off. I mean, there's just like a ton of play in the erasing mechanism on the Horizon. Like, if I try to erase with it, it extends the lead sleeve and a bunch of lead, and it's kind of a cruddy eraser all in of its own, and it's all over the place. Look at how much lead I extended just by erasing a little bit with it. I mean, it's essentially a non-functional eraser. It's there, it's present, but it's almost as if somebody didn't even test it when they were building the pencil. And so I, I took so much lead out when I was erasing that I couldn't even retract it back in, and I broke it. Okay? So... It's a really cool looking pencil. It's got a great design. Uh, I think that I paid, I don't know, somewhere around $10 for it. And I ordered this one as part of my cult pens order. 10 USD that is. You know, it was a conversion from uh, Great Britain pounds to USD. And uh, so I think I paid about $10 for it. Uh, so what are we going to do in terms of the rating scale on this one? Okay, it, you know, it has some nice features, and then it has some terrible features. So what are we going to do about that, now that I've had an opportunity to write with it? And so let's start off with writing experience. We're kind of showing off the automatic lead advance here, because there's hardly any lead sticking out of the bottom there. Okay, so writing experience, you know, good. It feels okay in my hand. I mean, it's a little slippery for my taste. You know, there's no gripping on it at all, but it's got a hexagonal or octagonal shape. And so just the shape alone makes it a little bit more grippy than if it would be smooth. Quality. I'm going to go with OK+. Plus. Okay, it's all stainless steel construction. It's a very thin stainless steel, so it isn't too weighty. The erasing mechanism on it is terrible. Um, and... You know, I mean, even the auto lead feed mechanism, I have to practically hold the pencil straight up in order to get it to go. So features good. I mean, it has the auto lead advance. It has a retractable sleeve. It has a decent pocket clip and decent styling. You know, good, good might be kind of generous for features in that regard. And then price, it's in the moderate range. I honestly don't think that it's worth the price that I paid for it, for what I'm getting with it. And so Oto is a really unique brand. You can get a bunch of Oto pens and pencils from Jet Pens. The Horizon is not one that I've seen on Jet Pens or on Tokyo Pen Shop. And so uh, I think you can get it on Amazon. It just seems pretty pricey to me for what it is. And so I would not recommend the Oto Horizon for mechanical pencil enthusiasts unless you're looking to complete a collection. Um, and, uh, you know, this is one of very few not recommending situations that I've been in. But it's just, the, the quality on it is just not what you would expect for the price that you, you, you would pay. Um, it's reminiscent to me of like a Papermate product that you would buy in Walmart, like a clear point. Okay. It's functional. It, it technically does what it's intended to do. Um, but for the price, I mean, you're, you're really, you're really low balling it. And so, um, yeah, don't check it out in my opinion, uh, unless you're really looking to complete a collection. And, you know, I hate to post a video about a non-recommendation, but, you know, I, I kind of feel obliged if I don't like something to share that as well. And uh, the Oto Horizon just really doesn't do it for me. Now, there's another Oto pencil that's coming up that I'm going to review that I do really, really like. And I'll just uh, give you a little quick preview of that, and that is the Oto Radial. Okay, the Oto Radial has this rubberized tire-like grip on it. Also an auto lead feed, also a retractable sleeve. It just seems a little bit more solidly constructed to me than the Horizon. And so that's coming up on the channel. I also just want to point out real quick some recent acquisitions that I got. 
Um, I don't think I'm going to do a separate video for these. I'm just going to point them out to you because, you know, there are mechanical pencils that I really like that are in my... Uh, oh, and so I should mention that the Oto Horizon does not go into the top 10 and it doesn't even get an honorable mention. It's there. It exists. There's some information for you. There you go. Um, other acquisitions that I got recently. This is a classic uh, Pentel Quicker Clicker with the sky blue uh, clear body. I had a... Uh, clear smoke gray body when I was a teenager and used it uh, for a huge portion of high school and well into college and I really liked it and so I was able to snag this on eBay and uh, it really takes me back because if you watch the channel you know that I'm a big fan of uh, the, the vintage quicker clickers and then I also from South Korea snagged this lovely lime green uh, Pentel Sharp P205. I really like collecting sharps in different colors because it's a great pencil and it's in my top 10 for a reason. And right now I'm uh, eyeing a new limited edition that came out. I, I don't know exactly when, but recently because I hadn't seen it until today, which is uh, some primary colors with gold accents instead of silver. So a gold pocket clip and a gold eraser cap and a gold lead sleeve really attractive looking. I really shouldn't be buying too many pencils right now because I have quite a few. Uh, I have a couple on the way that I'll be reviewing here on the channel and I've gotten a little crazy with it recently and I need to rein myself back in. And so uh, here's some recent acquisitions. Uh, a uh, Pentel Quicker Clicker Classic. You know that it's a classic because of course it has this green Pentel eraser. Okay, it was practically in mint, you know, in mint condition when I got it, and so it was a really good find. And then a varying color Pentel Sharp P205 from South Korea. And so, uh, thanks for watching the Oto Horizon review. Sorry that it, it you know, that I don't uh, feel as good about it as I do a lot of the things that I review on the channel. But I believe in being honest, and I hope you enjoyed these recent acquisitions as well. And so, thanks for watching. More stuff coming up on the channel. Have a great day, and I will catch you later.